very um, happy that I could, um, my name is cleared and I could uh, go back to my normal life. Tell me what has that experience been like for you through these couple of years? Well, I will let my lawyer then respond to that. Um, what kind of in a specific question, but my biggest disappointment is the entire judiciary machinery is very slow and for people who are being innocently accused. The process is, it works, but it's very slow. What next for you from here? Well, um, from here on, I'll, as I said, I'll go back to my normal life. Continue my normal life. Anything else you want to add as you listen? Um, no, thank you. What 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 strain this was putting on yourself and family? Well, it's it's been a difficult journey, and um, we know knew and we know that this will be the outcome because, as I said, um, I was falsely accused, and so we we we, we haven't expect any other outcome that, that, than what the CCG have ruled today. Thank you. Eric which one of you does? As I was saying, you would also speak, but I was saying things. That's about me. Thank you. 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 Have your name, your credentials, and then we will see your right. question. My name is Darshan Ramdani. I'm a Queen's Counsel, and I led the team at the CCJ. The judgment that was just delivered today, I would say, is a landmark judgment. Last in 2018, the CCJ ruled in a case called McKeown. Oh, the microphone, the middle one, just trying to come up. Right. Right. When they dealt with fundamental rights in Guyana and declared that certain laws were unconstitutional, the present law that was at stake here was a law giving the DPP of Guyana the power to send a matter back to the court and direct a magistrate to commit a man who the magistrate had earlier discharged. That law has been in place for over 50 years now. And I do believe it has been exercised on a number of occasions by various DPPs of Guyana. Today, the CCG struck down that law and has declared that that law is unconstitutional and that a magistrate court is a court of law and that no person outside of the judiciary can direct a judicial officer, who includes, which includes a magistrate, to do and perform judicial duties. And so, Guyana again has seen, I believe, the, the, this, this, the work of the CCJ, our apex court. They have blazed the trail again today and have demonstrated that the rule of law is alive and strong in Guyana. It takes time to get to these courts. And I, I do share Mr. Bisram's own um, agony of having to go through this process for so many years. But we are at the end of it. Um, the court has ruled and justice is served. That's all I can say for now. Mr. Daphne might want to add a few words on this. Um, it's been a long process. I've been involved in the beginning. Um, we've been saying this for since 2016 when there was a charge. There is no evidence against Mr. Bisram. There is no evidence that Mr. Bisram has done anything to break any law. That has always been the position. Um, those of you who have followed the case, I have said that repeatedly to you, that we are awaiting the evidence. We had incidents of magistrates being changed. We had uh, magistrates being removed. Our position has always been any court, any time, any day. We are ready to answer whatever it is the, prof the state has in a prosecution. Um, that has been vindicated finally. Mr. Bisram is free finally. Justice has been served. As the saying goes, you know, every long road has an end. This is the end, hopefully. Um, it has taken some time. It has taken longer 
then it should ideally, but you can't doubt that the process works. You can't doubt the deceased, the value of the Caribbean Court of Justice to Guyana. We all knew about the events of uh, previous years, but again, the Caribbean Court of Justice has stood firm on the side of justice, and Mr. Visram's innocence, which he is proclaimed from the very first day, he is being vindicated. I agree with um, Mr. Ramdani. The, there's a very important aspect of the case which makes it, which is why it's a landmark decision. As he's explained, it's been something that's been in existence for more than 50 years. But it's not right that the DPP, who is a prosecutor and one of the adversaries in the fight, can tell the adjudicator of the fight, the magistrate, what to do. That is inherently wrong. And today is the first step that the CCJ has taken towards righting that wrong. Any plan action against the state? That's under consideration. That will come after we've had some time. As you can imagine, the first and primary focus has been to ensure that Mr. Bisram clears his name and he is restored as a free citizen to Guyana. But my question, um, I know you guys did mention something about his name being blacklisted from traveling. Um, do you guys plan to want another challenge towards that or it will depend on the response that you get from... We don't know? think that that would be necessary. Mm -hmm. the court, the state has given an undertaking, his passport would be returned. Mm -hmm. There is no logical reason why any bar to travel would exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bistram, that process, your business model overseas, um, being unable to travel to money your business, how has that affected you? Um, trem tremendously. But thankfully for technology, I've been able, since I uh, was released, to uh, manage it uh, remotely. Um, if given your passport tomorrow, let's say, do you plan on going back to the States right away to continue your work there? No. No, um, or the time being, no, uh, because I want to spend some time with my family more. And um, re uh, I want to put system in place as well um, for the other five um, innocent men that uh, was accused and still in remand. What system can you say? Um, legal system through my attorney. Thank you.